Florida's Republican-controlled legislature has passed a new law that makes it harder for voters to access drop boxes and mail-in ballots. The bill also makes it illegal to give out food and water to people waiting in line to vote. The law is drawing widespread comparisons to recent legislation passed into law by Georgia Governor Brian Kemp last month. Georgia's bill is widely considered to be one of the most aggressive forms of voter suppression this century has ever seen. Joining me now is Stephanie Young, executive director for When We All Vote, a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization with a focus on combating voter suppression. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me here. All right, so there's a trend that happens year after year, right? When, when there's record turnout in an election, a wave of voter suppression efforts quickly follow. After the 2020 elections, politicians are making up false concerns and baseless conspiracies about widespread voter fraud to justify suppressing the right to vote. Now, more than 350 voter suppression bills have been introduced in 47 states. When We All Vote has been front and center, making sure every eligible voter is registered and ready to vote in every election. What is your organization's plan of attack on these obvious efforts to suppress votes? Well, you know, first of all, I think people not only do they kind of take a break after a major election, they feel a, sign, a sigh of relief uh, and they don't pay attention. And these are, these are uh, the reasons why uh, these bills can actually sneak through in state legislatures across this country. Uh, the fact that there are over 300 bills, we're talking about 47 states, this is a nationwide problem. Voter suppression has always been an issue, but the reason why in the past they've been able to win is because people haven't paid attention. And our focus right now is how are we gonna educate every American of goodwill, every American who made their voices heard to ensure that they advocate for federal legislation that will help uh, to hopefully Hopefully, end a lot of these voter suppression issues that we absolutely need to have passed um, in the United States Senate. So our goal is first educating, uh, mobilizing, organizing, and activating people to go out there and take action. Uh, because folks are counting on you to stay home. They're counting on you to look away and to feel defeated. Um, and there's two bills, the For the People Act, uh, which is uh, eligible to go to the Senate now, it's passed to the House, and there's the John Lewis Voting Rights Act that will help uh, to restore all of the bad things that the Shelby versus Holder case did in the Supreme Court uh, to ensure that states did not have any type of guidelines or supervision when they try to create bills that we're seeing right now. Okay, so you mentioned uh, the federal bills um, for the People Act, and what was the second one? The John Lewis Voting Rights Act. That is actual the actual okay. restoration of the original voting rights act from 1965 which was gutted right after president obama was elected in 2013 and they did it because it was a major election or really big turnout and they thought what do we need to do uh, to stop this from happening again and that was to say you know what states that have a tradition of voter suppression like alabama like georgia like florida what we'll do is say there's you know there's really no more racism we don't have to really worry about uh folks trying to stop people from voting they're wrong um we do need those federal protections uh in place so that we do not have to continue to see the same play over and over and over again and i can for uh your audience tonight to think about what they can do they can join when we all vote and take action with us we make it super easy for you to contact your senator or somebody else's senator and tell them how you feel about passing this federal legislation that will help to end these issues. Now, you talked about educating being one of the key elements um, for the organization. What is the biggest misconception when it comes to how helpful a federal bill can be for um, state lawmakers passing these, these voter suppression laws? Well, you know, when you criminalize people for taking water, right, uh, to those who are waiting in line for hours and hours and hours, the fact that we have people waiting in line for hours and hours and hours is a problem, and that is a form of voter suppression. And what federal laws do, like the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, they modernize our voting system so that you are not waiting in line for hours. You're waiting in line for maybe 30 minutes. Uh, and if a state wants to criminalize somebody for giving uh, water, that problem is is taken out of the out of the uh, game ahead of time uh, to ensure that you're not even in a line that long. But the photo ID uh, uh, requirements, also the vote by mail requirements, 
All of these things help to expand the access. And I think sometimes when we hear federal legislation, when we think about the United States Congress, I think people get not only overwhelmed, I think they get intimidated and they don't necessarily understand um, how these bills apply to their life or apply to their state. And it is our job to help teach uh, that to every person that we can. Um, and if you follow us on our, our social platforms, we usually break all of these bills down. We make it super simple, super easy, so that you can understand how it impacts you and how it impacts your state. And then if there's some additional action that you might have to take um, on the state side, we're continuously educating our audience through partners like the Brennan Center and other policy experts who are working on voting rights issues day in and day out. There are a team of lawyers all around this country who are fighting uh, for the American people to be able to have equal access to the ballot box to ensure that we all have our voices heard. Is there anything that when we all vote is doing, anything that we should be aware of and look forward to? Yeah, so Mrs. Obama just penned a letter um, with 64 of her close friends. I encourage you guys to go to whenweallvote.org, take a look at that letter, read it through. She talks about how important the For the People Act is. She gives bullets to you, so you actually are armed with that information to go talk to others in your life. Uh, there's also a really cl uh, clear button that you can click to contact your senator. So take a look at that. Um, we also just rolled out um, our new voting principles, which are a guiding light to the work that we're doing. But through um, our voting principles, you can take the pledge to fight with us and we will walk alongside hand in hand with you. What we learned uh, mostly at, during this last election is that everybody uh, is the best influencer in people in the people's uh, lives that they're in. So it's not celebrities, uh, it's not always influencers, it's you. So that's why it's so incredibly important that people have the information and that they're able to have these conversations over dinner, over drinks with their friends, and they're able to really do that relational organizing to get active uh, and to help us push for this legislation because it will not happen if they don't hear from the people. And we have the power and the ability to put pressure on people in a way that nobody else can. And I think at this time, there's never been a time as ripe as this right now to get this legislation passed. And if we miss this vote, we are going to be in a, a world of a rude awakening very, very soon because what we have the 2020 midterm election coming up and we also have the 24 general election. So the ti timing is literally of the essence. Timing is of the essence. Timing is now. Uh, Stephanie, thank you so very much. We're so very lucky that you were on the front lines really helping in the fight against voter suppression laws. All right, Stephanie Young, the executive director of When We All Vote. Thank you.